Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be taking our first look at a new mod called Scene Manager by Rich. This is a very cool mod. It is a standalone, which means you could use it with LSPDFR if you want to play as a police officer, or you could use it if you're playing as like a firefighter, or EMS, or whatever you're trying to do in game. Uh, if you're trying to do some construction role play, or even if you're doing some depart department of transportation role play like we're doing today, this is a very useful mod. Now, this mod allows us to direct traffic, so we're going to use it today to try to shut down. Uh, the highway and divert traffic to the exit. So we're going to take all of the traffic and get them off the highway and I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do that. Now behind me you guys are going to see we also have the DLT trucks. These comes with the uh, VMS Plus plugin that PNW Parks fan is working with working on. It's currently in beta, but if you guys would like to check it out, I will link these trucks down below in the video description. They come with the trucks as well as this cool controller that lets you control the message boards. So you're able to uh, change to different messages and arrow combinations, which are pretty cool. So just to kind of show you how it works. Very, very cool stuff. Now for now, we're gonna go ahead and put this down. Let's put our board down and let's get ready to shut down this highway. And um, yeah, you ready to go, man? All right, let's go. All right, so as we get ready to roll out, I also want to give a shout out to 5 the hero. Oh my goodness, they're so crazy in this darn game. How did they even wreck out there? And there's a tow truck right here too. All right, does this person need help? It looks like he's gonna be okay. But yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to 5 the hero. He actually does this in real life for uh, Georgia DLT, so that was pretty cool. He's a fan of mine as well as his son, so I want to give him and his son a shout out and thank you guys so much for watching. So what we're going to first do is hop out and let's see, I'm going to first use the VMS Plus to kind of get the arrows up and then we'll go ahead and use the scene manager to start directing traffic. So let's first go to this and let's select nearest vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and raise this board and let's do something along the lines of left lane closed, get over to the right. So that traffic starts getting over. And let's hop back into our truck now. goodness <laughs> all right we're gonna have to do this fast because traffic is driving so crazy on this road right here all right so we're gonna do nearest again and we're gonna raise his board and for him we're gonna just set them to go these moving arrows to the right perfect and my truck what I'm going to actually do now, this first part, you could kind of do it on foot or you could do it in a vehicle, which is kind of helpful. I'm going to do it in a vehicle and I'm going to show you guys why. All right, so I'm going to do this in the vehicle just because it's going to be a little bit quicker for me to do this and not get hit by a car trying to stand around and do this. So what I'm going to first do is set up a point over here. I kind of have to just temporarily stop traffic for a moment. All right, so we're gonna bring up the traffic path. We're gonna create a new path. And the first thing you gotta do is the collector. So this is what's gonna grab all the vehicles. We're gonna wanna increase the radiates. I wanna make sure we're grabbing vehicles from that lane as well as these two lanes. So this should be more than enough here to grab everybody. And then the speed zone, we're going to set it to, let's try to slow them down to about 45-ish. Let's do, let's do 45. They, they tend to slow down a lot when I tried this before. Um, and then we're going to do wavepoint speed. Oh, that's probably why I didn't set this one. So let's set this one to like maybe 35, I think would be good. Not too fast, but not too slow. So that's going to be that, and let's go ahead and start. 
Okay, so that's the first waypoint there. So every vehicle that goes through this line is going to get caught and start um, moving over. Now, the next thing we're going to do is make another waypoint. This one, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to... Actually, we don't have to worry about that. We're going to want to make the next waypoint about... About right here, they should all start to get over hopefully in time, so we'll make it right here. We'll keep the speed to 35. Now it's going to show you like on the map as well as like in person, it's going to show you those icons so you can kind of see what's going on. Now you could disable that in the I&I &I if you want, or you could leave it on. I like to leave it on though because it does kind of help you see what you're doing. So we're going to add another waypoint here. And we'll go ahead and continue. We'll add another waypoint right here. And then we'll get them over here. Another waypoint. And once they're here, they're basically they're not able to go back onto the highway, which is perfect. So we'll put the last one here. I'll go ahead and end the path. And now the path is now active. So now all cars that are going through that first waypoint that we set are going to go ahead and get moved over. Now sometimes some cars tend to spawn after the first waypoint, but that's okay. What the heck did he just do? Oh boy. Yeah, some like see this truck, they spawned after the waypoint, but it's, it's just, it is what it is with GTA, the way it spawns the traffic. But you guys could see that everybody else is starting to get over, which is really cool. Now what I should have done in the beginning was just to take off this so that they don't kind of swerve all crazy every time they get next to us. Oh, whoa, 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 truck! You didn't listen. Just because you ace trucking, don't think I'm going to let you get a free pass here. So, you know what? We may make a second path here, guys, because they tend, they seem like some of them are spawning here after the first collector. So, we're going to, let's see, let's pull this up again. And we're going to do another custom message. Alright, so we put up all vehicles must exit now and another right arrow. And let's see if traffic is doing what we want them to do. It looks like they are. I actually had to go back and put down some more paths. I put down three paths in, in um, total, mainly because this is such a large area we're trying to direct traffic. So there's the first one we did, then we did a second one around that second truck just to make sure that any vehicles that spawn after the first one we're able to get over and then same thing we put another one down right here just in case anything spawns here it still gets over in time now the second thing that we're able to do with this mod is put down barriers so we could put down cones and i'll show you guys how we could do that oh i like how i could like reach out so far this is actually useful so let's put that there Oh, this is nice. I don't have to actually walk where I needed to go. That is awesome. You kind of see all the different paths that we have here now. And again, you guys could disable this if you like. I will put one about right here. This is so cool though, this is awesome. Great job, Rich, on this new plugin. And like I said guys, since it's a standalone, you could basically use it for whatever you wanted to use it for, which is pretty awesome. I probably should have made them go a little bit slower. 40 is still pretty fast. <laughs> I think I could edit the paths though and change the speed. So we may do that. Now on top of these types of cones, we could also change. So you have like say um, these, you have this, a bunch of different options of stuff you could put down. But for now, we'll just use these regular cones. And if you guys do enjoy this, definitely let me know by smashing that like button. Make sure you guys also subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell. And make sure you also leave some comments down below, guys. Let me know if you guys want to see some more of this mod. I have a lot of cool ideas and a lot of fun things we can do.
So let me know. And if you guys have any suggestions, let me know as well. So here you can see another collector I put down to make sure any vehicles that didn't get caught by that first one get over, as you guys just saw. to like the last possible second to get over right there. <laughs> should I should have put that one down a little bit further to the blue collector, but that's all good. Oh boy. Slow it down everybody, slow it down. I'm loving these message boards too though, this just looks so awesome. This is very, very nice. So my one mistake I would say was me putting them to 40 miles per hour, they are still driving way too fast and too reckless I would say. So I'm going to try to make them go a little bit slower. Let's put down a couple more cones. So that should be good as far as cones go. Let's see if we're able to edit the uh, paths. All right, so let's change the speed to, let's try it 30 miles per hour. And then we'll edit number two. And we'll change that also to 30 miles per hour. Looks like they came to a complete stop up there. What the heck happened now? And let's edit number three. All right, so let's take a look and see how we did, guys. We got traffic starting to pile up a little bit. So one more time, we got the left lane closed. And get on off. And got everybody getting over. I could have probably moved these arrows over too. But glad to see everybody got over early actually. That's pretty good. Instead of waiting until the last minute. So we have our second truck with the arrows to the right. Again, last truck up here. All vehicles must exit now. Alright guys, so it looks like the construction crew is doing their thing down there, patching up those potholes. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and monitor traffic. I probably got to edit the collector over here because these guys keep getting stuck. That's all good. So yeah guys, let me know what you guys think of this mod. Again, scene manager so far so good. I think this is awesome. Thank you so much Rich for bringing this into the game. And of course, shout outs to PNW Parks fan as well for all of his help with it as well as his awesome message board trucks. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. We've been posting videos every single day as well as live streaming almost every day as well. So make sure you guys look out for the stream. Also, check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. On my website, I have a bunch of free tutorials and mod lists so you guys can learn how to download mods as well 
well as where to download them from. Also, I have an exclusive section, so if you would like to become an subscriber and support my support my channel, be able to get access to some extra videos, which are behind the scenes videos. So you'll see exactly how I set up these videos, as well as the first access section, so you get to watch some exclusive videos that are only on my website. So if you guys would like to check that out, definitely check it out. Again, it is acepilot2k7.com. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.